Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So, I think most of you guys, my fellow global players, can agree that Dokkan has been incredibly, incredibly dry over the past couple of weeks. In fact, you might have noticed that I haven't been posting as many videos on the channel recently, and part of that is because I've just been really busy with stuff outside of YouTube. But the other reason is that there's just not much going on right now. But the good news is that we are now essentially three weeks away from the start of the seventh anniversary celebration on Global. And trust me when I say that there will be a lot of content for the celebration, a lot of stuff to do, and the drought is almost over, guys. So in today's video, I want to get you guys both prepared, but also hyped for the upcoming celebration by highlighting some of the uh, new banners, characters, events, and all that good stuff we can expect to see for the 7th anniversary on Global, mostly focusing on the first part of the celebration because just like previous years, there will be multiple parts. In fact, this year, it's going to be a four-part celebration and if I included everything from all four parts, this video would be too long and also it'd just be a lot of information to take in all at once, right? So we're gonna focus on part one and then once we get closer to part two, part three, and part four, I'll make, you know, updates to uh, keep you guys fully informed, okay? So with all that said, let's jump right into it. And we're gonna start here with a unit that everyone will be able to get regardless of whether you're free to play or pay to play or somewhere in between and that would be the new anniversary free to play unit which is this tech goku and vegeta with goku holding the seven star dragon ball it's been a trend for basically the entire history of uh, dokkan with you know the goku holding the dragon ball right so we got goku and vegeta this time holding the seven star dragon ball and uh, I won't go into too many details about the units, but as you can see, pretty nice looking art. We'll be able to get them through the first login as well as uh, through subsequent missions as well. Okay, so that is the anniversary unit. And from there, let's jump over to probably the thing that you guys are most excited for, which would be the banners for the Dual Dokkan Fest between the LR uh, Super Saiyan God, Goku and Vegeta and also the LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. Now, uh, in terms of like breaking down the banners and the details of the units, I'm gonna save that for a video once we get closer to the actual release of the banners. But for now, you guys can take a look at the featured units. Needless to say, they are absolutely amazing. Easily some of the best banners we've ever seen in the history of this game. Each of them will feature seven, seven Dokkan Festival exclusive LRs. So we have the LR Goku and Vegeta, or rather God Goku and God Vegeta banner here. And uh, here are the featured units for the LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. And of course, because this is a global dual Dokkan Fest that's not being held at the same time as JP, that means we will be getting Dokkan Festival A and Dokkan Festival B tickets for every multi performed on these banners for a bunch of additional free summons, which is amazing and definitely one of the main benefits of being a global player over a JP player. So there you have you guys, those are the banners for the upcoming Part 1 LRs. And here are the LRs themselves. This is the Tech LR Super Saiyan God Goku and Super Saiyan God Vegeta that transform into Super Saiyan Blue, Goku, and Vegeta from the Dragon Ball Super Broly movie. And then we have the LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, which has this amazing effect for the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta as well, as you can see. And then we have the fusion into Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta right there. Obviously, between the two, if you guys know me at all, I do want the LR Super Saiyan 4s a little bit more 
then the God Goku and Vegeta, but obviously I gotta have both at the end of the day. So those are the LRs. They also have side units for the God Goku and Vegeta. We have this STR Broly. And then for the Super Saiyan 4s, we have this Tech Sin Shenron. Now, moving on from there, we have another banner that is highly, highly anticipated, and that would be the 7th anniversary guaranteed LR banner. Now this year, they've changed it up a little bit. So instead of having, I think it was two guaranteed LRs before, right? Now it's three guaranteed LRs for the multi. And there's gonna be a stone version of the banner as well as a ticket version. So for the stone version, it's gonna cost 300 dragon stones, which I know is steep, but you are getting 77 units along with three of those units being guaranteed LRs, but that doesn't mean you can't get additional LRs. I've seen people get four, five, six, seven LRs from this multi. So in terms of value for your stones, I think it's pretty decent. It's not like amazing, but it's, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. And then we have the ticket version of this banner, which can be done for free by anybody, but you do have to collect all the tickets throughout the entirety of the celebration and this year you only have to collect 50 tickets as opposed to 66 from last year and uh, once you get all the tickets then you will be able to do this multi for 77 units just like the stone banner and three of those units will be guaranteed LRs and of course later on I'll make a separate video talking about how you guys can get all 50 tickets for this free guaranteed LR multi okay so Let's move on now to the next thing, which would be, let's see. Oh, this is the general seventh anniversary ticket banner. So if you guys have been playing the game for the last couple of weeks, we've been collecting the seventh anniversary tickets, right? Which can be used to summon on this seventh anniversary regular ticket banner. And here are some of the featured units. As you can see, some solid non token Fest units. And then of course, in the unfeatured pool, there will also be uh, most, if not all of the LRs in the game. I'm thinking there might be some exclusions, but there will be a lot of LRs available on this banner. So if you're lucky and you happen to pull some of them, then congratulations, but I wouldn't expect that to happen, but it is possible. It's definitely possible. So yeah, that is the general ticket banner. At this point, you should have a good amount of tickets already, but we will be getting more over the next couple of weeks and uh, into the celebration as well. So uh, now let's pop over to the selections for the red dragon stone as well as the purple dragon stone. And as you guys might know, the red dragon stone will be available to every single player through a login. It's completely free to play. And here is a quick look at the selection of units that you can choose from. I believe it's the same as the last red dragon stone, so nothing you know, too exciting here, but uh, there are some very good units from this pool that you can definitely pick up if you are missing any of them. And then for the purple or premium Dragonstone, as always, you have to purchase this by buying a stone pack, and you can buy up to three of them. And if you get three, then you can exchange them for one of these LRs. If you have two, then you can exchange them for, uh, let's see, a category Dokkan Fest lead, and if you have one, then you can get one of the uh, 120 leads or the Fizz, Vegito Blue, and AGL Rosé. So uh, essentially the same selection as well, although I think some of these guys are new. I'm not 100% sure which ones, but I'm pretty sure they added a few from last year. So um, yeah, that is the purple Dragonstone selection. It can get a little bit pricey, but if you guys were planning to, you know, spend money to buy stones anyways, then it's a nice bonus to be able to get these uh, purple dragon stones for a guaranteed uh, unit, right? So that's the purple and red dragon stones. Now let's take a look at some of the new events, starting with the Goku and Chi Chi story event, where you can farm the free to play AGL Goku and Chi Chi, which will eventually get an Extreme Z Awakening later in the celebration. And then we have the Vegeta and Bulma story event where you can get the Fizz, uh, Vegeta and Bulma with a costume change and uh, also an Extreme Z Awakening as well. And then we have this 
Gohan, Goten, and Trunks story event. And this is the one that gives us a new free-to-play LR for the anniversary, which is the LR Goku, or sorry, Gohan, Goten, and Trunks with an eventual Extreme Z Awakening as well. So those are the three main story uh, free-to-play units for the seventh anniversary. And we will also be getting this new Goku and Vegeta event that can be completed once daily to acquire skill orbs specific to Goku and Vegeta's. And from there, we have a new challenge event that has been getting a lot of hype on the JP side because it is really freaking hard. It's called Ultimate Red Zone, and you can kind of think of it as the equivalent to the God of Destruction event we got last year, except even harder. And there are two versions of it. The first one is for movie bosses, and the other one is for GT bosses. So for the movie bosses one, there will be uh, Turles, Lord Slug, uh, Final Form Cooler, uh, Android 13, Bojack, Janemba, and then finally Broly. So seven stages or seven levels in total. And then for the movie bosses one, we have Legic, Lude, Rildo, Baby, Super 17, Shadow Dragons, and finally Sin Shenron. And uh, like I said, really freaking hard. I will try my best to do a guide or some kind of strategy video later on, but for now, all you gotta know is that this is coming and uh, it's probably gonna kick your butt. So there's the ultimate red zone event. And after that, we have a new stage of boss rush, which is kind of a standard for every anniversary. I believe it's stage 14. And the token events this time will be for the Super Saiyan Bardock, Super Saiyan Blue Kakan Goku, Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks, Super Buu, and finally the Super Saiyan 2 Kefla. And we're also going to be getting some new stages, or sorry, uh, new missions for the Legendary Goku event, as well as the Legendary Vegeta event. For the Legendary Goku event, the new categories you'll have to use to complete the stage are Artificial Life Forms, Target Goku, GT Heroes, GT Bosses, Legendary Existence, Sworn Enemies, and Fused Fighters. And then for the Legendary Vegeta event, we have... let's see... Planet Namek Saga, Bond of Master and Disciple, Super Saiyan 2, Majin Power, Planetary Destruction, Battle of Fate, and Beyond Super Saiyan. So lots of new stuff to do for these two events. And last but not least, we have a special anniversary edition of a Virtual Dokkan Ultimate Clash or Battlefield where we'll be facing a new set of enemies, starting with the Kaoken Goku, the Vegeta, and then the Grade 8 Vegeta for Stage 1. For Stage 2, we have Goku and Vegeta, or rather, I guess, just Vegeta here, and then Goku, and then Super Saiyan Goku, and finally, or sorry, uh, oh, there's four levels. Level 3, we have Super Saiyan Goku, Vegeta, Super Vegeta. Level 4, we have the Super Saiyan 2 Angel Goku, Majin Vegeta, and the final boss will feature three stages, starting with the Super Saiyan Goku, and then Super Saiyan 2 Angel Vegeta, and finally, the Spirit Bomb Goku. And that is the Anniversary Ultimate Clash slash uh, Battlefield. And that essentially does it for all of the content that we can expect to see for part one of the Anniversary. Obviously, like I said, um, there's a lot more to come for the entire celebration as a whole, but if I included everything, it would just take way too damn long. Uh, part two, as you guys might know, will feature two new LRs, the uh, Kaoken Goku and the Grade 8 Vegeta. Part 3, there's new stuff too. Part 4 has a really crazy event that gives a lot of stones, and we'll talk about all that stuff in future videos. For now though, Part 1 has a lot to offer. The anniversary is right around the corner, guys. It's actually kind of hard to believe that we're uh, this close now. And there's going to be a lot of content coming up on the channel as well, so if you guys are you know, excited for the celebration, you want to be as informed as possible, then definitely stay tuned. If you guys aren't subbed to the channel yet, then make sure to hit that big red subscribe button, join the Tiger Squad now, and uh, I will see you guys very, very soon. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like, 
the damn video. Let me know in the comments what you guys are the most excited for as far as the anniversary is concerned. And uh, yeah, until next time, guys, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.